uh, welcome to mysimhelp.in uh, in this video we will look into the sap data migration cockpit uh, object lists uh, object list is nothing but what are all the uh, items which we can migrate through sap data migration cockpit uh, i have already released two other videos also one is about the introduction what sap dmc is about and the second one is about the direct transfer so in case if you are landing directly to this video it will be good that if you can watch the previous two videos because that will give you more idea and overview about what is that we are talking about so please watch that and you can continue from here uh, in this list of object sap has provided a, a detailed document about the uh, migration objects so so i have given the link for this web page so once you land here then the first thing you need to be very clear is with the version like what is the version we are doing onto this like are we in 2020 21 22 whichever the version we are doing please select the version so i am selecting the latest available version which is october 2022 and then what are the language you can do and you can see here there is a available migration objects so it's a big list uh, there is a box which talks about all this object object type etc and here you can make filters so in case only if you wanted to do for the master data transaction data so i come here so i start from the component because uh, in case if we are we can filter it here too but since if you are clear with some components maybe i, I wanted to do all my controlling related components so you can see here all my controlling related components have filtered then in case if i wanted to only look at the master data it gives me master data in case if i wanted to do the transactional data it gives me the transactional data so uh, again it has been given so whether it is from direct transfer or file staging etc and all so this one will give you the full list of objects uh, what are all the objects that we can migrate through the data migration cockpit so this is an exhaustive list actually yes of now there are 473 entries and sap keeps updating them as and uh, they release new objects etc so this help page will be more helpful for people who wanted to understand what uh, sap offers in terms of sap data migration cockpit so this is to give a uh, overview about all the objects uh, whenever you create a project which we will be seeing in the subsequent videos uh, this will give you more uh, overview or more clear picture of what is uh, available what we can create what are all the objects we can migrate etc uh, here the approach is also important you know whether we are doing through file staging or we are doing through direct transfer so that will give you a clear picture whether we can apply directly uh, i mean direct transfer means which we will be moving it from one system to another system which we have already covered in our previous uh, videos so there is also an advanced search function in case if you want to do an advanced search and uh, this is very important uh, i mean the version on which we will be working it across you know that is what we need to do and uh, so i think this covers the object list uh, overall thanks for watching this video if there is any feedback leave it on the comments thank you